Number two, single leg offset row. This is one that I've been doing for quite a while. Um, I've been a big fan of this movement. And really the, the, the feature part of this is integrating the upper and the lower half. So as most of you are aware who follow Rude Rock and, and what we've done over the years, uh, we really try to get away from like muscular isolation and think more about integration. So this is a great example of that, where we're gonna hinge down into a single leg hinge and then go into a row action. So the offset piece on this, in my opinion, just gives a little bit more demand on hip stability. And then again, integrating the lat or the rowing action with that concurrent hip stability aspect. So for this, I'm gonna set this up by having hands uh, right about where the knurling meets the smooth on the inside arm and then right on the rings on the outside hand. And then from here, if I'm gonna be doing a right arm row, my right leg will be the hinge leg. So we're thinking long hamstring, tension in the hamstring and then rigid in the back. And from here, I'm gonna pull straight up to chest, drop the inside hand, and then nice slow eccentric return on the down. So for here, all of our single leg hinge principles are applied. We're thinking long hamstring, rigid torso. And then on the row aspect, I wanna think drive the elbow, pinch the armpit, and then again, control on the way down.